Make it happen. Mud snake! Oh yes. yeah. Awesome! <laughs> it was the day, man! <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, well, we are probably about to head to a slightly different area. Uh, it's looking like we're not going to get our milk snake today, unfortunately. But tons of snakes, awesome time. Uh, great time tin flipping over here. So we're going to head north and flip some tin in a different area. Next spot. Scorpio. Oh, king, 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 king. I lost him. Nice. Right off the bat. Look at that. Beautiful little snake. Well, yeah. good introduction to this uh, <laughs> new region of the state. Five to ten degrees cooler and down south. Well, this little guy is definitely in better shape than the first speckled king of the day. And uh, <laughs> I'm not complaining, so we're going to photograph this guy and put him back in the stack. Recording for me. There we go. Nobody there. This is nice soil too. Nice loose burrowing. King's. I actually set this right here like two weeks ago. But it looks I weathered think, already. Yeah, I think stuff would move in. So what we're hoping to see up in this area is the coveted Louisiana Scarlet King Snake. And these guys set out some awesome tin sites for him. Mousy. And they've already paid off with the Speckle King so far, so we're going to keep flipping and hopefully get our target. All right, guys, Brendan just spotted a nice corn snake in shed right here, basking in this little brush pile. Uh, these guys flip them here pretty often under 10, but it's definitely always a treat to see one sitting out like this. We're gonna get some photos and we'll get a better look at him. Yeah. All right, y'all good to, to get him? You could also just leave him right there. See how close he'll let I, me get. I don't need him. There we go, a Louisiana corn snake. Very, very cool. I was really hoping to see one of these guys today. Unfortunately, he is in shed, so maybe we'll be able to turn up another one that's a little more colorful. But we're gonna leave that guy right there, I guess. He's content to just chill. So, let's see what else we can turn up. Nope. Second Black Master Racer of the day is right there. I'm gonna try to grab him. Got it. Ow! <laughs> he got it. <laughs> This one won't have a neck wound on. <laughs> Tell us how you did it. Well, I hurt myself. <laughs> Perfect. Not permanently though. Damn it. Yeah, they're they're like that. Stop it. He does have an eyeball wound. Jeez. Oh, well, there he is. Second black mask racer of the day. A little bit better condition than the last one, but he does have another bum eye. Pretty cool. We're gonna photograph this guy and let him go. This will have something, I would think. Very nice. Corn snake number two. Let's get that other side up again.
There we go, second corn snake of the day. Probably about to bite me again. Please don't. All right, I'll take one out of shed now. All the balls. A lot of ants. <laughs> Oh, nice, out of shed corn. Beautiful, okay. Yeah, I'll help you. <laughs> nice, lawn mower. Yeah, there wasn't no sense in bringing it to the street when I can bring it up here. Exactly. You know, I, really, I, know, I know what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess we're gonna photograph this guy and let him go. Awesome to see one of these guys that's not in shed today. I'm gonna put this guy back under his tin and keep hoping for that Scarlet King. Corn. Well, we really got into the corn snakes today. I guess we're just gonna put this guy back. Third one that's in shed, only one has been out of shed. This guy looks like he's eating. No, bad, don't do it. This guy's looking like he's either about to go into shed or about to come out of it. So we're just gonna put him back in the tin pile. Okay, there you go. would think that's where they'd be. I believe it. Whoa. Nice. First ringer we've got here, isn't it? You, you called it. I didn't get it recorded, but I said this is a corny looking piece, and there we go. Corn number five for the day? That's wild. So that corn snake we just flipped shed out, and while we were looking at him, uh, Brennan got a king snake over there. But look at this freaking corn snake. Definitely the nicest looking snake I think we've seen today. Well, other than the muds. What a beautiful snake. Corn snake number five for the day. That's probably my, my record corn snake day right there, honestly. I don't think I've ever seen that many in a day. Not even in Florida. My God. Dude. Like that Dude. <laughs> Dude. Look at that for a duo. <laughs> Good one for out here. Big one too, right? Yeah. Pushing max. Look at that. King snake number three for the day and a beauty a big beauty biggest king in the trip so far <laughs> it was really cool moving through the leaf litter I'm trying to find a hole y'all good with him Armin just flipped corn snake number six. This is getting a little ridiculous. It's definitely the most corn snakes I've ever seen in a day at this point. <laughs> All under 10. Alrighty, corn snake number six. Back to the 10 stack. And there's corn number seven, another pretty one. <laughs> the junk snake of the day. <laughs> number seven, what on earth? So we tied Armin's record, right? Yep. Need one more to break it. Number seven. 
it's another pretty one, but I don't think I'm gonna take camera photos of this guy. I guess we'll just put him back. Yeah. I like that piece. Is this the rat snake? Nice. Pretty snake. Where's it going? Nice. We're looking critter. Yeah. Alrighty. First rat snake of the day. Right now, it just feels really good for him. It does. Pretty cool, random little find. Brennan spotted this little pickerel frog hopping around. Not something I was expecting to see today. It's pretty cool. Here's another one. Feeling like a nap, guys. I'm gonna crawl up in there. Yeah. Yeah, that's how bad it looks comfy. I like these too. Nice and cool. Is that a mole? Yeah. It is a mole. Ah. <laughs> I'm letting that dude bite me. Focus, there we go. Holy moly. And he's so soft. I love him. I've never been bit by one. They usually just uh, scratch me with their claws. Shrews on the other hand. Yeah. Like this. Nice heavy sheets. Speckle King, very nice. He's not nice, but I like him. Get this girl out of the way. Let's see what else is down here. Nobody. Alrighty. Oop, Another one. one. Now these two are similar. <laughs> Is this a uh, three and four for the, no, four and five for the day, three and four for this spot. Cool. Guess not, man. Oh, nice. Black mask racer. Nice looking one too. Well, this one's in shed, but pretty similar to the other one that's not in shed. Just gonna get a couple quick shots, put them back. So I just updated my field notes a few minutes ago and we are at 49 snakes for the day. So we're gonna pull a couple more pieces of tin and hope we can pull out the round and even and very satisfying 50. Starting with this. Not there. Not there. Oh, there it is, number 50. Number 
<laughs> Number 50. <laughs> he don't got no eyeball. Well, maybe we only found 49 snakes in this alien. Ow, fire ants. Alrighty, we're gonna let him go. Oof, big boy. Alrighty, how's this one work? There's a skincella, is that a snake? There you go, 51. 51, another rat snake. He's a whip. <laughs> Dang. Whoa. Oh, wow. Big one. Is that 52? Yeah. Another rat. Dang. Well, I guess we'll just leave him right there if he's gonna hang out. What is up guys? I am back from Louisiana. It's the next day. It's a beautiful sunny a bit too hot day here in North Georgia, but I'm gonna go out and flip some tin. That'll be the next video you see. But anyways, thanks for watching. Louisiana it was a great time and I can't wait to come back.